Hey guys, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. Watch your scent of the day or scent of the night. Drop your comment down below. If you like fragrance related content like this and you're new here, been watching for a while and haven't subscribed, please show your support before the video ends by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Give me a like if you want to see more content like this. And don't forget to click the bell icon to miss any future content and uploads on my channel. Today we're talking about new fragrance from the house of Empire. Uh, Paris Corner and this fragrance is called Frederick Delicios. So this is actually aka a clone inspiration of Febulicios. Can't get any clone. Look at the color of the juice. That's how close it is. And they're both magnetic cap, which is pretty cool. So in this video here, I'm going to tell you how this performs over the champ here. But before I start, thank you to my friend Jeff for letting me borrow his bottle. This is his bottle. This fragrance is going to run you about 30 bucks online. I'll leave links down below. I think Amazon has it and a couple other discount fragrance websites. So definitely check it out. So it has the same note breakdown, which I'll post on the screen here. Now, as soon as you spray this fragrance, right, you're definitely getting instant Fabulicios vibe. It's not like one of those fragrances that when you spray, you're like, okay, wait for the alcohol to dry down. It's instantly Fabulicios in your face. If you like that sweet tonka bean, sour cherry, um, lavender, it's overall a tonka bean lover fragrance. Now, the only difference with this one, I would say, is that the presentation is not as beautiful as this, but it's pretty close to it, right? Different type of label, different bottle. Now, as soon as you spray this fragrance, right, you're instantly going to get that Fabulicios vibe. So this got discontinued later this year, which is sad, but you can still find bottles in the group. But if you're on a budget, you don't want to spend over $300 plus for this bottle here. This is pretty darn close. You're looking at about, I would say, 97, 98% close to it. The only difference with this version than with the original is that the performance. So when you're talking about projection, the first hour, it's very strong as crap. The first hour is in your face. Then the hour after that, it does tone down some where it's not as aggressive in your face. So for that point, it is pretty good for 30 hours. You know what I mean? So if you want that nice hour projection, you're good to go. And nobody's going to really tell the difference. You know, you're splitting hairs. So you're trying to pair the difference between the clone and the real one. Longevity. So for this one right here, easy, you're going to get eight hours plus. I have no complaints this one. Now with this one here, it does get more lighter when it gets hour after hour. So when you get down to the four to five to six hours, it does dry down very, very close to the skin. But you can still smell the fragrance, you know, off your skin in the air. But it's not as heavy in the first hour to maybe hour and a half of projection. Seasons and occasions. For me personally, this is going to be more of a fall, winter, early spring scent. Maybe a cool spring night, a cool summer night. This really isn't good for summertime. It's kind of sticky and coin, and people can get headaches or headache inducing because of this fragrance here. It's heavy and potent. The first hour, hour and a half, it's in your face. If you like that beast mode of this, you're going to get in a bottle like this, but then that hour, hour and a half, it does dry down where it's more calmer to wear. Occasion wise, me personally, this is great date night. This is great casual. Um, I don't know if I want to wear this to work. I feel like it might be too offensive to work because it's a heavy, sweet fragrance. You might want to spray it an hour before you get ready to go to work. And then it does calm down some, so it's not aggressive at the workplace. Whether you work in a cubicle or in a warehouse like I do, it's going to be too heavy. So you need to wait an hour or so and let it calm down some. Ratings and final thoughts. So for me personally, I'm going to give this a 8.5 out of 10. It covers the basics. It's, it's this in a bottle. It's only difference is that this doesn't have the projection after the hour and a half, it does settle down. And this one still goes strong for about two or three hours of projection. But if you're on a budget for 30 bucks, you're going to smell very close to Fabulicios. I'm talking like so close that people think you're wearing Fabulicios. That's how close this clone is. And clones are getting so close nowadays, it's ridiculous. I know some people say, is it worth buying the real thing? And I say, well, if you like the real fragrance and you want to have the real one, then buy it. If you feel like that's too much to buy a real one, then try to get the clone. There's nothing wrong with buying the clone. If you can afford the clone and you don't go broke, definitely buy the clone. At the end of the day, this is a great uh, clone of inspiration. Definitely check this out here. What are your favorite uh, clones on the market? Drop your list down below. If you like free and content like this, make sure you click that red subscribe button down below. Like the video and click the bell icon to miss any future content on this channel. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video very soon. Peace.